and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rank Up Sunday stream. We're going to be playing four really good decks, four of my favorite decks to play, ones that I've played a decent amount here on stream before. We're going to be starting with Bannerman Braum. This is going to be our first time trying this Bannerman Braum deck with the patch 1-6 update that now Braum is unfortunately an 05 for this deck definitely liked Braum being the 1-5 before but now Braum's an 05 and so we'll be trying it out with that making one small change instead of playing two back-to-backs we're gonna reduce the mana cost we're gonna play one rangers resolve there's a lot of like uh there's a lot of Ezreal decks like twisted fate Ezreal and stuff with make it rains and there's a lot of misfortunes around and a lot of things doing like one damage and so I, I want a one mana rangers resolve this is a pretty pretty good card um so we're gonna do that that'll help uh, lower the curve also it's a little weird to be playing three concerted strikes and two single combats but the reason for that is our units are kind of small and not really good at fighting you know like like a protege fiora bright seal protector war chefs these things aren't, aren't like great at fighting and staying alive um but and they're also not good at like killing like large you know larger things so uh, concerted strike can have two of them combined together to strike and you, you know you don't have to worry about them striking back um so yeah i've been i've been happy with concerted strike uh for us because the because the bigger units are the problem right if you know sure we can have single combat kill smaller units but that's what our whole deck does with all the challengers like fiora protege like these things already kill small units um with the challenge ability and so we kind of want to be able to kill larger units and that's what concerted strike enables us to do but yeah we just get a lot of value from all of our challengers the swift wing lancers your genevieve elm hearts challenger is just such a great mechanic how you get to dictate how combat's going to be um while you know while, while you're on offense and of course while you're on defense you get to choose who to block but also while you're on offense you get to choose who they block just a pretty awesome ability so we're gonna go take advantage of that and go try this deck out um bannerman brahm those we didn't have we don't have any of the don't i have like a new emote somewhere i guess there's not another one um there we go that's good enough all right let's go play five games over in ranked it's rank up sunday we're down to, to rank zero had a rough day yesterday but we're going to pick it back up today should be doing a lot better playing two demacia decks so i'm splitting those up putting those first and fourth with the two Demo you know kind of base demacia decks this one and zed shen um, Mulligan Concerted Strike because it's kind of expensive. Hey, Azur. I think I like Braum against the discard aggro. We'll see. This is this will be interesting to try out. See if we can keep them from going wide enough and fast enough. Sorry for the noise in the background. That's my dog, Harvey. And Harvey's Chew Toy. Um, kind of want to lead with Omen Hawk. Lead with Omen Hawk. I don't think I'm going to be able to attack for two. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a one mana card. There we go. And that's. I don't really want to trade a Fleet Feather Tracker for that two one. We'll trade Omen Hawk for that two one. <laughs> You're right on your prediction. Ezreal Karma has a 48% win rate. Love 4-4 four, four, Fiora. Love 4-4 four, four, Fiora. I guess we trade these. Especially we got 4-4 four, four, Fiora. We should try to not take an excessive amount of damage. Should be playing Draven this next turn. Should be playing Draven, would be my guess. The party has arrived. Who does not know the name Laurent? Yeah, 
And 3-5 three, five, three, five Proje is even better than 4-4 four, four Fiora right here, because 4-4 four, four Fiora, they can use the Spitting Axe to trade. They can't even do that with the 3-5 Proje. And we, we knew they had Draven because of the Draven's biggest fan. Draven down. So that's pretty big, just getting a Draven, you know, eating a Draven for free like that. Because I think if I would have just played Protégé, they probably don't just play Draven, right? So that's why I passed. Let us get going. Of course, their O2 can challenge my O5. This is my opponent. I'm fine with this trade. So I do have a backup Braum. So I think I just let this happen. I don't think we go single combat and save Braum with us having a backup Braum. Do I want to challenge first and then Bannerman with the 3-3 three, three Mighty Poro? Or Strike quickly, strike deftly. Try me. Good luck. Have fun. Your move. Alright, so we don't get a Poro. That's the one thing that's like kind of awkward about repost with Braum because the barrier Braum doesn't actually take damage so isn't going to survive damage so we don't get a mighty poro but I think that plus three taking out the jinx I'm all for that oh do you you think it counts Oh, you're right. It does count. We will get the Poro. I long for a worthy opponent. So my only way to keep Fiora alive is to Concerted Strike the 1-1. One -one. So I guess we do that. That will level up Fiora to be a 5-5, five, five, and then Fiora, you know, will take four and be a 5-1. Um, and then, you know, won't be still fighting, you know, won't be still in combat with the 1-1. One, one.
Too easy. So that's a pretty good last four cards to have. Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, get excited. Not too bad. Definitely uh, kind of punished me for using my repost early. Another good turn for them with drawing the Sump Dredger so I couldn't fight the Jinx before they got to unload their hand. Okay, we're two out of four with this Fiora. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. I'm not sure if. You call this a hard I don't know if it's worth just playing Repost, kill this thing. I'm definitely worried that that's enough that they drew that they draw another jinx that's that's the card that I want to see the least that's what I'm worried about time for the main event it's also a scary one it's their other champion not as scary as jinx but it's a little scary I gotta just rules are made for broken like buildings or people you should try blinking oh, this is perfect Draw champion, champion, back to back. Uh, must be nice. <laughs> yeah, they had, they had no hand. Should have blocked the 6 1. I mean, I guess block the 4 1 and 6 1. I don't know, this is over. Yeah. Time for the money makers. That was really disappointing. I did not think I was losing this game at all, but then it just turned out, you know, like the, the rest of their hand being like that mystic shot, mystic shot, get excited. That was great. And then, and then, you know, top decking champion, champion back to back with an empty hand. The best, the best card in their deck. <clears throat> and then, of course, I mean, also, you know, like they, ha they had the empty hand with the Jinx. I mean, I could have. It was saving. It was me playing the Concerted Strike that that cost me all of that. You know, like I, my Concerted Strike play was bad against them being able to unload their hand to level up their Jinx, and and then also draw two cards let them unload their hand again and not let me single combat their jinx like it's just that was just a absolute 
perfect fury. I I honestly didn't think we were losing that, but that was just perfect. Hello. But I should I should have just let Fiora die. You know, like that was that was my bad. I should have just let Fiora die. Um, if we, if I would have just done that, I win that game. If I don't play my concert strike. Thanks, Quincy. This looks like the Championless Undying deck. I've played a few times with, you know, like with having the Undying and vulnerable stuff. Um, it's, it's works pretty well. As you can tell, that was pretty great. Morsel of regret. Hmm. I'll go Bearman. Yeah, I guess so. It's gonna be a tough one. I wish I didn't play the Fiora and I had a repost available for the War Chefs. Strike quickly, strike death. Right. Oh God. Good hand, though. I got it. They had a good hand. That was a good hired gun for sure. And then obviously the Curse Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher combo. We may never win a game again. <laughs> what if we never win a game ever again? Sacrifice for a greater Sure, just have that too. Well, that's above average. There is a good chance we'll never win a game ever again. My opponent's deck can't look any better than that. It honestly cannot. So they're playing Karma Ezra with Vi, which is a very good decision. If I would play Karma Ezra, I would also play it with Vi. I do think it's a lot better with Vi than without Vi.
I'll get the I'll get the Omen Hawk in here, getting the plus one plus one with that. Okay, we got <clears throat> we got old school unnerfed Bannerman that used to give itself plus one plus one as well. Ability. I'm going. I'm kind of greedy. I'm going for the ability to make the Mighty Poro also and pump up the Mighty Poro as well. Okay. Not quite. Yeah, they, they already played one Static Shock, so. Would have been a little unlikely for them to have another. But I am glad they didn't have another. Like to see Genevieve Elmhart. Play the war shop so war shops would allow me to keep up repost if needed Do they need our help? yeah that's pretty nice getting two zero mana three twos in play that's not bad not bad so like swift wing lancer genevieve elmhart those are probably my best draws. Wouldn't mind like a back a back to back would be great. I thought you'd never ask. The... It's not bragging if you can back it up. <laughs> It's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. Go war chefs pump up Brom and then take a, a three two and be able to kill the three two, but but then the the four three gets to have a profitable block at that point. Fall to our standard. I never hold back. I long. Oh God. So we'll make it more difficult. And they're probably killing the Fiora or stunning the Fiora anyway, but we'll make it more difficult than do that. Like, where they just can't use Mystic Shot to kill Fiora at least. If they do stun Fiora, at least now Fiora has three health again, so um, an Ezreal Mystic Shot doesn't kill Fiora. Easy. 
Uh, of course, Cabo. Um, yeah, we could take out Bannerman and then be able to play the Freljord spells with Elixir of Iron and uh, Fury of the North and stuff like that, but you are risking not having enough units at that point, to be honest. That's the big risk there. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Alright, so we know it's a Demacia card on top. I also like single combat or concerted strike. We haven't seen it either of those. You know, like one of those five spells, that would be nice. Fury of the North would definitely be better than Repost. Like, absolutely Fury of the North is better than Repost. Basically, we're playing Repost because of Bannerman instead. Um, you know, somebody was telling me they were playing... Uh, they were going with one Fury of the North over one of the Repost. And it wasn't too bad for them. Maybe that's an option. Go one Fury the north you just never want to miss on bannerman right like it's like bannerman trigger is so valuable you just never want to miss on it they don't know what they're up against my shield is yours Yeah, that's a good draw. First we fight. Let's go, our friend. Ah, this is fun, yes? Yeah. Alright, let's let's attack this way. In the name of us, only your best. Alright, uh Kimonito said change the card back to the Garen card back. Oh well we have the Garen card back right now. That's the card back we do have. Peace has its cost. Do they need our help? Maybe the Garen board? Garen, did you mean the Garen board? spells. do have another deny we would take two four six eight ten we have another deny we take ten go to one Ugh. all right well 
We are at four. That concerted strike was a perfect draw. We found those removal spells just in time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, QQ. So how are we going to get five more? Okay, so we need five more Elnux, Poros, or Spiders. So we need we need Braum to trigger five more times, get us those Poros. All right, change to... Garen board. I also haven't had... We, we are on a pretty bad losing streak. We should be changing our icon. Did I get a new icon? I think I just got this one. I think that's a new one. What is this one? That one's pretty cool. Alright, one and two. Got to face Karma Ezreal. Gotta win. GG's. The spider poro achievement was the easiest one. Yeah, I haven't I haven't like changed any decks to try to get the achievements. Um but yeah, we only need five. Maybe we should play. Cause let's see, Elnux, Spiders, and Poros. I'm not gonna be None of these decks today are gonna be doing that. Maybe I should just play one game like with spiders and just play five spiders just to get that achievement and start working on the next one. What are we playing against? Okay, same deck. All right, we got that to start with. I, I'm going to keep Swiftwing Lancer. You know what? We're going to keep it. It's a, it's a really good card. Even though it's a five mana card, we already have... Like our first couple of turns. Uh, we already got stuff for those. Hey, FEMA. What you been playing these days, FEMA? Find any deck that, that you've been really enjoying recently? Um, I want to get the Omen Hawk in right away. Anivia? Okay. Like the Anivia Braum deck? Do you think that Anivia... You said no bad matchups? Do you think that Anivia Braum deck is good against... Um, that was really not great, those two draws. You think the Anivia Braum is good against Frostbite midrange? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. Uh, I fight with my spirit. That was the card that that my route was the worst against that that card specifically. Really? How do you win that matchup? I am very surprised about that. They, they are doing so well against against uh, against Frost by midrange. We each hold the world within. I long for a worthy opponent. Uh, I mean, I don't. I mean, I. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Avalanche, helping you out. No. Yeah, I'm I'm playing the like playing the other way, playing Ash Sedgwani. I've never had any issues beating Anivia. Um, 
So that's why I was intrigued that you're doing so well against it. When playing Frostbite, do I skip some blocks to try to build a bigger board? Definitely. Definitely. That's that's something you can do, um, you know, basically with any deck. Um, you know, you got to be thinking about, like, the spells that your opponents are going to have in hand, you know, whether or not uh, to block or, or uh, to get into combat, like, all, all that kind of stuff. Had a good one there. Up a card on me, and they got those two Eye of the Dragons. This could be a tough matchup. Yep, sure do. Yeah, always and always happy to try to answer questions and stuff. Um, yeah, because that's it's it's hard. There's not. As far as like general advice on like tempo, when to be aggressive, how to play against different decks, it's it's different for every single deck that you play, and it's also like each game's kind of different. There's not just a, a general. Those are kind of hard hard things to like write down and everything. There's not just a got your back. Um, any kind of like hard and fast rules or anything. Hey, Mini Mini. Welcome. That's too bad. Oh, the glory of Demacia. There's no, no, there's no information about the new cards coming out yet. They haven't released that. That's something they'll release later on when it's towards it. It will either be, it's going to be the end of next month. Um, it's going to be after this event. So it's either going to be like the 19th or the 26th of August. But we don't have any exact details right now. So I'm not going to attack in because, you know, like I attack in, like they'll use spells and stuff and my attack won't end up being that good. And then they'll get two draggalings. I kind of actually like just passing. Um, and then they don't get the draglings. I can actually have like these, you know, these other spells and stuff whenever I do want to attack the next time. So a good thing about Concerted Strike, still kills through the barrier, that's pretty nice. And just going to lead with this instead of leading with Bannerman so that maybe I'll, if something super weird happens, I have another Concerted Strike. If I want it. Was their second spell? Oh, right, the key guardian was a spell. Darn. So they'll get the draglings. Yuck. Maybe I'll wait a turn for Bannerman. 
it's not great to attack into the, the draglings anyway. What is gain the okay, because I was going to say maybe I draw another unit. play the other unit than the bannermen. Alright, so I kill an Eye of the Dragon. And then they play a bunch of spells afterward. Yeah, no, I'm supposed to challenge them. They had a great hand, these Eye of the Dragons and everything. Yeah, they, they had a great hand. Static Shock earlier. All that stuff. GG's. Breathe in, breathe out. Have I only drawn one thing with Omenhawk? Oh, no, no, no. We had the 4 4 Fiora that we played on turn 3, and they had. I had the Dragon, then they had the Thermogenic Beam. That was pretty nice, you know, having turn 2 I the Dragon, turn 3 I the Dragon, plus you still have 4 mana for Thermogenic Beam then. So, you know, they generated 8 mana in the first 3 turns because of the attunes with the I the Dragons. things were just one mana. Incredible value for one mana. This is why, like, I thought I had the dragon, like, during the previous season, I thought I had the dragon was going to be just an incredibly good card. Um, but it didn't really play like that. This, this was a game where my opponent had all this spell, like, they really were able to um, enable these I the dragons. It really made them look great. Um, they were amazing this game for sure. But overall, this is the card that I was probably the most disappointed in from Rising, just the Rising Tides preview. You know, just look, you know, reading through the cards, I thought Eye of the Dragon was, you know, this is basically how I envisioned Eye of the Dragon, you know, like, you know, how you keep on getting, like, the 2 1 life steals. It's incredible. At least they're not able to get that 3-3, that three, three, or the 3-2. Three, <laughs> Music's louder than the voice. Sorry, I'll try to speak up a little bit. Yeah, I forgot. Th this board has really loud music. I always forget about that with, with this board. It, the music is super loud. Um, 
Well, I just hope, hope they don't have deny. Yeah, I hope they don't have deny. Striking with two five power things mean twin twin disciplines would put karma up to being a five ten. So it would not save. Oh, they do have deny. Reconsider. Vortex is deny court. Oh, I guess it's only one spell. Right, because the other one fizzles. I think I need to single combat right now. I want to repost and protect the Bright Seal Protector. Go lethal? I think I should do that. Let's see, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't. I don't even have lethal. It still take no. I, I can't do eleven more damage. Okay, I guess I didn't consider how single combat on the Karma would keep Ezreal from leveling up, how Ezreal was at 7 out of 8. The other single combat with those to get rid of the Will of Ionia. I didn't quite think about that. First draw in the deck. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Strike and grace, beauty in the play. That's a good sign of no Ezreal. That's, you know, I was kind of wanted to have single combat for Ezreal more than Karma. It's a pretty good sign of no Ezreal.
You're down to three cards. Three mana, not cards, sorry, three mana. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Gets rid of two blockers, like that's really important getting rid of two blockers. With me going for just trying for lethal this turn. So it's 17 damage. If if I have my two five powers challenge these two, we'd have 17 damage. And so that would play around one health potion. Alright, so repost. Yeah, repost is probably better to use than, than back to back. So obviously, I want the back to back to be able to push through damage. You know, I want them both to be able to push through damage. Okay. The other th so it's basically do I the, the question is is do I challenge the chump wump with protege or do I challenge the ch the chump wump with the swift wing lancer? That's really it's the real question. Um if I like you know the proteges would kill those two. But pro the swift wing lancer represents more damage. I think I do Swift Wing Lancer. And just go for the more damage. That's the thing that I'm debating between. Like, I was definitely challenging here. It's just which one of these to challenge with that. Three mana, they have to kill two things with three mana. Um, or kill one thing in health potion. So they basically have to have mystic shots. Well, will mystic shot save them? Maybe not. 12, 17. No, that's exactly lethal if they have mystic shot. Yeah, it's exactly lethal with mystic shot. All right, GG's. Good thing we went with the Lancer attacking and not the Protege. <laughs> and back to back gets it done. Man, yeah, that was a long game. Still need five more poros. Okay, two and two. There we go. All I have to do is play against Karma Ezreal, then we can get some wins. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think. What's up, Lubsters? I didn't think we were going to be winning that game, right? Like for how I the Dragon 
was amazing. I guess they never really found it in Ezreal. Uh, and Deep can be tough. This can be a tough matchup. I don't think I want a second Fleet Feather Tracker. Yeah, I've maxed out the region rewards. I've played enough to be able to do that. Genevieve Elm, I've really, I just realized like we've never even drawn a Genevieve Elm heart and that, you know, like whenever we played this game before, that was like a huge part of us winning games, right? Like was it, a Genevieve Elm heart Letting guts. Golden awesome. Gore. Surprised we haven't, haven't drawn one of those yet. I don't think I just Bannerman this turn. Going harvesting. Feasts are killing me. We still have the next two units pumped up by Omen Hawk. It's gonna be pretty tough. Okay. Could certainly have been worse. Four mana for eight eight worth of stats. Certainly have been worse. That also allows me to still play Concerted Strike. If they have you know, Devour Depths, we get to Concerted Strike it. I wouldn't say... Ra I don't know. So Ranger's Resolve beats Valfeast. That's why it's good? I don't think that's why it's good. I don't really say it beats Vile Feast. Because it, it trades one for one with Vile Feast plus you, plus they get a 1 1. So doesn't it lose to Vile Feast? Like they just get a 1 1. And you just traded two cards. Pretty sure that means it loses to Vile Feast. Pretty sure. The reason why Ranger's Resolve is good is because of all the Mega Rain, Static Shocks, Withering Whale, Twisted Fate Red Card, all that kind of stuff. Just also 
normal combat where combat happens and a bunch of things would trade and then Rangers Resolve lets all of your things survive. Milan. Gain three, you know, they're at 19, they gain three life with the Wanderer, which means they go to 20. Then they gain two life with Thorny Toad, which means they stay at 20. Seventeen cards left. I'm, yay! I'm saying yay because that means no. Um, what's it called? Uh, no ruination. All right, so I can either I can either kill the abyssal eye or use two cards to kill Nautilus. Like I can use like both concerted strikes. Or a repost and a concerted strike. Actually, repost concerted strike probably doesn't do it, so I use both concerted strikes to kill Nautilus. Or I just kill Abyssal Eye. I think I just kill Abyssal Eye. I really hope no Vile Feast. That's the that's you know they've already played two Vile Feasts. I really hope they don't have another one and are able to get another blocker. Forward, forward, down, down. Blood and salt. All right, well, we got to worry about atrocity, so I guess I got to block. I guess we just block with repost. The problem is block with repost means the withering whale, they can stay alive now. I'd like to draw back to back or ranger's resolve or repost. Eh, not quite. Um, maybe I go, okay, so if they have, if they have Withering Whale, they kill my 6-1 anyway, and so, like, that doesn't do damage to them, and so they'd stay alive. Maybe I just do this, where, like, this could maybe kill that thing? No, not worth it. I'll just concerted strike and kill that. If, if they were gonna, st if they're gonna stabilize anyway, we just concerted strike and kill that. Uh, that doesn't. Should have gone the other way. Oh, 
Come on. Vanguard defender. Wow, Kai's leveled up. I'm not expecting Ruination, but decided to keep a couple of things in hand just in case. I can play stuff at the end of their turn. Anyway. Yeah, pretty lucky they didn't have the miss call. That could have been bad. Oh, there goes Ruination. Approaching the battlefront! So keep them only gaining two life. Basically kind of have to have just like Nautilus and Maokai's in hand, right? Like they're tossing everything else. So it seems like. That was two Ruinations out. <laughs> It says, why'd that guy just toss away his ruination? <laughs> Who does not know the name Laurent? Who doesn't know the name Laurent? Oh, rough. Another blocker. Got one mana. So yeah, they didn't even toss. So all five cards left in their deck have to be champions. So that means they don't have any champions in hand. Um, that's an easy block there. That puts us to 12. They can't kill us with Atrocity with, from 12 to start with. So like, let's say one of these is Atrocity. That means... Okay, yeah. We know they could only have two total non-champions left in their deck, right? Like the, because the rest of the deck is champions, all five. So the the two cards in hand were non-champions, but you know, basically we just had to think of what could they have with those two cards, and how do we play around just to like what are the worst two cards to see? And how can we play around it? All right, so there we go. Turned it around. Got a three-two there with Bannerman Brom. Challenger still very good. Honestly, our deck didn't perform perfectly. Like, Genevieve Elmhart is, like, our, our six-mana champion, right? Like, this card really does play as strong as a champion, how good this card is. And we actually never had it any game. So I think that's pretty uh, that's pretty nice showing that we still got a 3-2, a 60% win rate with having zero Genevieve Elmharts ever. That's still pretty... So that's pretty strong. Um... Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything else went pretty good. Definitely like having the single combats and the concerned strikes. Um, we didn't play Braum too much. We only played, we only played Braum like two games, I think. Maybe, you know, either one or two games. I think two games we played Braum. Um, that's something to just kind of watch out for is, basically, is Braum still good enough? at being an 05 now instead of a 1-5? Is it really worth splashing for Braum? Um, you know, is that really that necessary? That's something that we'll have to just kind of keep our eye out. Would it be better to be splashing for Shen in that slot? Um, of course, you do get Omen Hawk, which is a, a, you know, an amazing one drop, and this Omen Hawk does really help out some of our other stuff. We saw that with like the 3-5 protege and things, but... Uh, the... First two losses, especially that first one. That first one really, really could have been a win. I We could have easily gone 4-1 if I just didn't play my Concerted Strike. I, I went with a greedy Concerted Strike to keep Fiora alive, and my opponent had the exact stuff to punish me with, you know, Mystic Shot into Mystic Shot into Get Excited to empty the hand to keep Jinx alive, and then immediately the two two cards drawn off jinx you know one was a sump dredger to empty their hand again to get the sink to get the super mega death rocket before i could even cast a single combat you know got to do all of that before i cast single combat 
Um, and then, and then even after all that, we were fine. We were in top deck mode with us having a better, you know, better hand. And their first two top decks in top deck mode were Draven, then Jinx, where mine were, you know, like these one drops and two drops and stuff. So, uh, um, so yeah, like that could have very, very easily been a four-one. Really should have been a four-one. Um, so yeah, deck still looks pretty good. And just Demacia in general, I think these kind of Demacia things are over, or sorry, are underrated. And just Challenger as a mechanic is really underrated and very powerful. All right, but that's it here for Bannerman Braum. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching our first Rank Up Sunday deck, and I'll see you for the next video.